Welcome to the 100% Psychic Shiny Hunting locations in the Teal Mask DLC. If you're looking for any Pokemon, make sure to check out the description down below. And if you want to hunt for any other typings, make sure to check out this entire playlist in Kitakami for the Pokemon you want. And don't forget about our Paldea playlist, which has every single typing as well. Okay, so in order to create a Psychic Sandwich, we're going to be using one onion and two salty Herba Mystica. Remember, there are also other recipes. So for those who like to comment the alternate recipes, please comment that down below for everyone else to see but i preferably do like salty herbas because i can use them literally everywhere and there's specific raids that actually give you just salty herbas also feel free to use encounter sandwich level two to do this task it's very possible with that as well since the spawns are pretty much just like it if you did this right you should have sparkling power level three and encounter power level three you're also going to want to be able to do the zoom in technique which is pressing double home so you can see what is a shiny and what is not a shiny for this all you have to do is go to your home menu go into settings and from system settings go down to system and then just go ahead and enable yourself the zoom all right now that we got that working let's get hunting if you head over to the infernal pass we're going to be hunting for a very special pokemon known as spoink and i actually got a lot of these spoinks during the base game in paldea they always showed up in certain field but now here we are a shiny hunting spot in the dlc now this area is also going to be another dual hunting spot you're gonna have these points everywhere this is what the shiny looks like this is what its evolution looks like grumpig and here is where we're gonna get chinglings also spawning uh, so it is a dual hunting area now something that you may want to do when you're up here is pretty much just pay attention to the spawns don't go too fast as they solo spawn in and pay attention to both pokemon because obviously this is a dual hunt and the best thing you can do is picnic reset if you see a bunch of them or you can just go back and forth until you reach the top of the mountain where there will be a different spawn with Chinling up there. So yeah, that's pretty much the thing you're going to be doing on this mountain. Just go back and forth. That's the best strategy and picnic reset. So good luck doing that. I hope you can get yourself a Spoink. Obviously, it's not that desired of a Pokemon. I never have heard someone say Spoink is my favorite Pokemon yet. But if it is, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, great shiny hunting spot though for this dual hunting location. But before we move on, I want to thank Displate for sponsoring this video. Displate is a leading brand that specializes in high quality printed metal metal art posters that'll make your gaming setups or rooms look amazing. They have millions of beautiful designs available on the website for everything from gaming like Elden Ring, Diablo, World of Warcraft, and Call of Duty. They also have officially licensed designs from Netflix, Star Wars, Marvel, and much more. It'll fit whatever design your interest is. One of the coolest things about Displate is that the metal posters are so easy to mount and stay secure on your wall with the help of a magnet that you don't need any tools for. You literally just have to clean the wall and stick the magnet on it, press firmly to secure it, and then hang your display. It's so easy to build up collections on your wall, just like the space theme. All you have to do is go to display.com, select the poster you want from the millions of designs they have to offer, choose the finish and the frame, add to cart, and display will get it printed out and ship it out to so many locations in the world. Don't miss out on this collector's fest promo. Get 29% discount on your first display, 35% discount when purchasing two to four displays, and 40% discount when you purchase five or more displays. Seriously, it's a good deal, and on top of that, for every one display, display you buy one baby tree is planted so you're also helping out the environment click the link in the description below to check out all the display collections and get this incredible offer now back to our video now if you just want to focus on solo hunting spoink this is going to be the best location to come to just simply go all the way up towards the paradise barrens and this is no longer a dual hunt that you have to deal with chinglings for but just solo spoinks everywhere this whole entire place is full of them so all you have to do is really just look out for the shiny you can picnic reason said here or just explore that's all you have to do it's literally the only pokemon that spawns here so good luck getting a shiny spoink here i hope you all can easily get one in the paradise baron make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get shiny luck like this now if you head over to the crystal pool area in the top of the mountain over here you're gonna find two pokemon where this is going to be a nice little dual hunt you're gonna find a bunch of bronzor as well as finding a very special pokemon that's actually new to the teal master you'll see which is chingling this is what chingling shiny looks like and it's evolution shiny and this is what bronzer and its evolution looks like as well so pretty much for this area you want to try to zoom out as much as you can for bronzer you're going to be looking for a green shiny and for chingling you're going to be looking for a slightly more yellow shiny with orange ropes instead of the red ropes it's evolution though for chingling you can look around if you find a himiko will be a green shiny so pretty much the strategy at the crystal lake just to go in circles pretty slow circles 
circles until you happen to spot the shiny just don't go too fast because you really don't want to miss out on that very important for that because missing shinies is like the worst feeling in the world well so that's the strategy up here and it's pretty much a dual hunt but if you follow me and cross this bridge over here we're gonna head down to the secret cave which is pretty much all the way down below by the way i actually got a shiny bronzer as i was approaching the secret cave by accident but that was a really cool spawn anyway once you head here head all the way down into the secret location continue straight down find the loophole until you head down towards the water and we're gonna drop down to the water below now here's the really cool part about this area as you can see we actually have the evolution bronzong that spawns down here now check this out if i make my way all the way to the back end facing the water look at what spawns right ahead of me so if you haven't gotten a bronzor or a bronzong this is the spot and then all you gotta do is just send out your pokemon to auto battle and it's just gonna go ahead and run into all these mons up here so here we go i'm gonna send it out and it's really cool because you get both the pre-evolution and the evolution and there's nothing else that spawns here so it's gonna be a solo hunting spot for it i kind of wish it was for chingling it would have been so much better since it's new in this dlc but you know what for now we'll take what we can it's just a very cool hunting spot that you can figure out with different sandwich so good luck hunting a bronze or and bronze on here i'm really curious to see who's gonna get a shiny here now there's a really good dual hunting spot that is going to be in the woods over here which is right over here timeless woods or specifically in dds which was available previously in the last dlc actually who am i kidding all of these psychic pokemon were available in the last dlc but this is a great dual hunting spot if you want to get yourself a hatterene which shiny is going to look like that as well as hatrim who shiny is going to look like that um indeedy like i mentioned is also here it has the male and the female version so you want to keep that in mind and these are what the shinies look like so if you haven't gotten them this is a great spot just to chill and dual hunt as they spawn everywhere all these pokemon spawn throughout i actually was able to get a hatterene in this forest using a fairy sandwich but the psychic sandwich is a lot more efficient in order to get one so i think it's pretty cool to hunt second evolution as well as your indeedies so just explore the area their solo spawns it doesn't matter if it's day or night they will spawn during any of those times so good luck getting your shiny just make sure you're paying attention you're turning your camera around at all times and if you get a good amount that spawn in a specific area just go ahead and picnic reset that's pretty much the strategy when you do get a bunch but pretty much they're all solo spawns here so it should be easy just to run around this entire place until you see a shiny that you can stop and catch it so good luck hunting these and i hope you grab yourself a shiny here's a really fun hunt in the game for Gallade. and um wow well, i guess there's a gardevoir here too interesting spawn but mainly for Gallade. so if you come over to the kitakami wild area which is going to be pretty much north of the fellhorn gorge just straight over here right before the timeless woods take a look at all the spawns that you get it's literally going to be Gallades everywhere you go in this area look at that they are literally everywhere which is probably one of the coolest things to see in the game like i remember how hard it was to get a Gallade, find the evolution stone and just evolve it but now look at this they're everywhere i haven't seen anything like this in the base game unless my memory is completely blanked out and i also have a mass outbreak it literally looks like a mass outbreak too even though there is one on my screen so let me move away from that just to prove how much there are and pretty much what you're going to be looking for is a Gallade with the color blue that's it so there are going to be so many Gallade here and it's going to be so obvious because you're just looking at a bunch of green ones when you do happen to get the shiny so pretty much the strategy is either just walk around this entire area i noticed they do spawn pretty fast and despawn out pretty quick you could probably get a whole bunch of different ones in the area by just circling around this entire path you got Gallade sleeping under the trees so keep that in mind pay attention zoom in and make sure it's not blue under the shadows these are very important things to do when you are shiny hunting because you don't want to make the mistake of walking away from a blue one also make sure to push in your right joy con stick or your pro controller stick because you want to be zoomed out and not zoomed in on the way but just having this amount of Gallade is really impressive so good luck getting yourself a shiny Gallade it should be extremely easy and also you can trade a bunch of these shiny Gallades to other people all right good luck with that hunt now if you are looking for Ralt it's pretty much going to be everywhere in this area around Revelers Road pretty much all over here you can see there are Ralts uh, just running up to me but a cool spot that is pretty good for using of course the psychic sandwich is going to be the town spawn right over here that's going to go in and out so it's going to be pretty quick so you just hit Masui town on the east side exit so something like that and then you're pretty much just going to run right outside over here on Revelers Road you're pretty much going to be looking for a blue Ralt that's pretty much the shiny that you can evolve all the way up into Gardevoir or Gallade but we did give you a Gallade spot in this video so you can just focus on that so you can just go in and out of towns until you get it it's probably the fastest way with this sandwich but if you want a really good spot you should definitely check out the fairy video 
out because it's a whole location where you get complete families of this Pokemon spawning. So just keep this in mind for this area. Just have to go in and out of Reveler's Road and you should be able to go ahead and grab yourselves an entire family of Ralts uh, using this sandwich. Usually these are great if you just have leftover sandwich after getting the shinies you want and you should easily be able to get the shiny you need. Just make sure you're looking all the way to the right. You're looking straight ahead and sometimes looking over here by the tree because you see they did they spawn all over the place. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your town resets and you should be good. And I found a route just right over here in this area. So that's pretty good. Look at that. Nice. Woo, shiny. Now you got your psychic Pokemon, but make sure to check out this video over here.